Next up, it's, it's the boys' turn. Under 12 at District Cup, nine versus nine between Bournemouth and Liverpool again. They're featuring prominently uh, the, the Merseysiders in today's coverage. In the flurry of fixtures we've covered on the live stream, the home of this great traditional club, Stoke City. Thanks again to them for all their organisation. It's been a terrific event so far. Now here come Liverpool. Excellent driving through the middle from Frankie Freeman. Will he go all the way? Well, and that's a brilliant save. Fantastic goalkeeping from Alfie Wagner. Freeman, the number six. Well, he had the freedom of Stoke City FC. No one close to him. Bursting run through the middle. Just manoeuvre the ball nicely. Couldn't have hit it better. A free kick for keeper. Savas to take. It's his opposite number, Wagner, who's, who's made a couple of saves, though. And Liverpool will try and test him again. Here he's popped up on the right-hand side as Alan Koshnor. Switching flanks. Good interception. Might be a chance here. Seam Hale. Will he get the shot away? Good feet. Left-footed attempt. Oh, what a goal. Magnificent from the Liverpool number 16. He was played in by Luca Rice. He still had an awful lot to do, and that is a truly golden moment. Recovered his footing into stoppage time. Seam Hale, imperious with the ball at his feet. Seam Hale, he wants another one. You wouldn't bet against him. Onto his left, tries the floating cross this time. Kept in play. Hale, once again, takes a deflection and in. It's the Seam Hale show in the first half. In stoppage time, he's got another. Took a big touch off the defender. At the double, Liverpool, a two up on the stroke of half time. He's been outstanding for the remainder of this half. A routine stop in the end from Ruben Savas is a Opposite number, Wagner, clatters clear. Now, Koshnor has had the best moment for Liverpool in the second half so far. Lovely little back heel on a hat-trick. Hale, unselfish, excellent move, and there's the third goal. And it's the captain, Frankie McGiven, who rifles it into the net. And that surely will seal the deal. A third goal for Liverpool. What a day they're having. Here it is then, Coleman, keen as mustard to get a dangerous ball into the box and it's poked in and they've scored, they're back in the game, just got the touch there, I think it was Harry Purchase poking it in, of Seam Hale, Wagner just about did enough to put him off, Hale intercepts, could this be the moment for him, unselfish, plays it for McGiven, and saved by the legs of Wagner, who's been excellent. Otherwise, Liverpool would have had more than the three goals. An inspiring one. A winning one. Unless something remarkable happens. Could be four, and is driven home by Alan Koshnor. 4-1, game over, and it means so much to him. Koshnor lashing that one with power, with precision, with placement and panache. He's conceded four, but he's actually been one of their better players. There's Alfie Wagner. Referee's looked at his watch, he's about to blow. There goes the final whistle. More glory for Liverpool. The under-12 boys have won this district final in the Champions Cup by four goals to one. Here they go, magic for the Merseysiders. Liverpool are the champions. We've said that a few times over the years. And the under-12 boys did their club proud. They celebrate with sheer glee, sheer joy, and well they might. They thoroughly deserve it. They produce some sparkling football, some excellent goals, and they are once again the victors.